What's going on everybody? Mike here, welcome back to Thousand Turbos. Today, we're in Strasbourg to check out the uh, Strasbourg and District History Museum and Car Show. So let's uh, see what they got. Should be a great time. I remember we were here last year and we had a pretty good turnout. So let me get the camera around and uh, show you guys what we've got. So when we get to the end here, we'll uh, pick up where we left off. All right, folks, quite the turnout this year. We'll start here, this is a nice little hot rod. New camera is working amazing, I must say. This is this is nice. Another old hot rod. A flathead. That is sweet. You can hear something rattling up behind us. So, so nice 55. I thought the train coming. I think there could be a train coming, folks. Yeah, that's this is nice too. That sounds like we got a train. All right, we're back. I have to wait for the train to go by because it got loud. So it scared Emmy a bit. We got the 55 there. Nice Camaro. 80 Camaro. That's gorgeous. Got a 74 C10, 64 Comet. That's nice. That's a nice car. Get a shot under the hood. That's that's nice. Oh, a standard too. That's oh, that's sick. That's a nice car. Right beside it, and even a really nice uh, Chevy, 37 Chevy sedan delivery. I believe it's a 37, the grill. Yeah, it's a 37. That's awesome as well. That's a gorgeous, yeah. nice TA. Not gonna guess the year on that because, well, they're all the same. <laughs> oh, got another train coming by, it sounds like. So. Got a Model T, 26. That's nice. That's almost like our Model A that me and my dad had. Nice little Pontiac. Let's see here. Yeah. That's how the 50 or 53 should be. Then we got a nice, what is a 74? Yeah, 74 Camaro. You can tell by the bumpers. That's gorgeous. Got a bike. We got this thing here. It's like a 30, another 37 Chevy. Yep. I didn't even see the plate. I just that grill. That is that is gorgeous. I don't know how well the camera's picking that up, but holy shit. Beautifully done. Interior as well. Just absolutely gorgeous. Wow, suicide doors. It's a very nice car. Got a 57 Chevy, four door with a good scoop. Oh. We got Jim's here. Oh no, Jim, is your car here? Or your truck here? Maybe there somewhere. Right on, I'll have to go check it out. Every show I see, you're at, like here, like everyone we're at too. So. Oh, we do too. So. Another train going by. It gets loud, but all right. We got ourselves with the 52 Ford. Another gorgeous truck. All right, now hopefully the trains are done for a while. We'll go check out. All these gorgeous Fords up here. I know my girlfriend's a huge Ford truck fan. She's probably just drooling. Do you like them, sweetie? The lifted one, you probably you like the orange one, I bet. So, a gorgeous square body sitting here. Oh, I should bring one of my three one of these years. I love that blue. It's the same because my Tahoe blue almost. That's sick. All right, let's go check out these Fords. 
the dense sides. Oh, watch for the grass, it's pointy. So this is a 79. This, is the, this one here is another 79. Big lifted truck. <laughs> yeah, 460. This is not bad. This is pretty cool. Oh, oh, look in the back. <laughs> that is sick. Oh, for all you scooter guys, we even got a sled at the show. Oh, look how shiny this is, Mike. <laughs> that is sweet. And beside it, we got a blizzard. Oh, this is nice too. Nice. This truck's actually too. I just noticed it's Linex with the paint over it. That's pretty neat. I think this. Uh, this is indeed. This is brushed on though. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's brushed. That is sweet. That's a nice truck. Two seventy-nine lifted Fords with a couple of sleds in the back. That is a good dream right there. Then we got this here. Ooh, I don't know if the camera will pick that up, but. Unassuming, very unassuming van with an absolute boatload amount of glitter. <laughs> My god, it's sick. That is nice. Right beside it. Yeah, that is nice. And right beside it, we got Lauren's van. Yeah, this, this camera's picking up the detail way more than the old one did, the glitter. This is sick. I love this van. We see it everywhere, and it always wins best of show, best of paint, for obvious reasons. This is not a wrap. This is, this is paint, and it continues on into the interior. Like, that is insane. I know we see this lots, but... This is just a gorgeous, gorgeous van. Oh, you can see kind of where where he's all, where he goes, all the different shows and stuff that this that this van was in. So you see it around, you know, let everybody know where you saw it. It's absolutely sick. All right, and over here, got a nice old old Ford. <laughs> and he's gonna go check it out. So, see the inside of here. That is nice. I like the old dashes. That's awesome. It's a gorgeous old truck. 55 Co. Then, got some sleds. Give you guys some info on them. So, that's cool. This one's sweet too. That's cool. All right, let's head down here now, and we will check out this row, and we'll end off with the show at the uh, museum. There we go. And we're back down at the down at the bottom of the hill. You guys didn't want to hear me huffing and puffing, struggling, so I figured I'd turn the camera off. <laughs> Got ourselves a Cutlass. This is a '65, '66. That's nice. Challenger. There's a Pontiac Safari. No, Plymouth. That is sick. That is nice. What we got? Modern steering column owners. This is a body swap. Modern steering column. But vintage dash. Huh. That makes me curious. What is it? That's one of the Ritter brothers from Saudi. Okay, so this thing's probably a straight up custom. So that's cool. And we got this thing here. <laughs> it's pretty nedly. It'd be fun to have boost cruises on that around town at two miles an hour. <laughs> well, yeah, your beer doesn't get cold that way or warm that way. Nice old truck. This is the one I think with the uh, Ford mo or the Coyote swap. No, not the Coyote, but the uh, Crown Vic motor. 
That's that's cool. Slammed. See you later. Nice flatbed. This thing is sweet. What do you think of this Ranger, sweetie? You know, pardon? Well, these I do. I like these. I like this. This is nice. I don't like the new stuff. I like I like the old dance style. I like pretty much like 94 and older. I like. <laughs> I like my bull nose. This is an older. This is sweet. That is a nice truck. Nice Road King. <gasps> Pinto wagon. No way. Is it a standard? No, it's automatic. That's still cool. With the porthole window in the back. That's cool. We got another 57 Chevy. This thing's absolutely gorgeous. There's the museum. I guess that's what will be our final stop. So, yeah, gorgeous car. All right. Let's head down the road here and see what we got going on. So, absolutely gorgeous day for a show. So I'm gonna get this done quick so I can get back to one more SummerSlam. <laughs> so, yeah, here's the, uh, the 52 Dodge with the uh, Hemi. They're 48. It's only it's, my grandpa's got his. This is just like our Fargo. So it could be a 49, 50, 51. Oh, the bikes over there are leaving. So, nice Camaro. And always SSRs. That's why I always say one of these years, I'm going to have to buy one of these one day because I see them at every show we're at. It's almost like a sign. This one I like a lot. This is I like this one. I like the red. I don't know why. Red and the purple ones I usually like. So then we got black one here. Oldsmobile. Yeah. Yeah. Con <laughs> convertible. Uh, yeah, that's nice at the top down though. Nice old 88. We saw this in Watchers. This is the Royal Rome. See? Yep, this, we had one identical to this. So, alright. And beside it, we got a 39 Oldsmobile. That's sweet. Let me see what the dash looks like in this. That's a nice car. It's like a businessman's coupe. Yeah, that's nice. Done up with the banjo style wheel. Very classic. And we got a 50, oh, 61 vet. Huh, is it stick? This is sweet too. Oh, it is. That is awesome. That's a gorgeous car. Wow. And we got another Ford. So. Where we going? That's another gorgeous truck. Uh, we got a Cougar. 67, 68, 68. That's a gorgeous car. Ooh. Oh, Chrysler 300. Damn, that's a hell of a car. I could literally walk for 15 minutes to not make it from end to end. <laughs> no, that's a hell of a long ass car, holy shit. Over here we got a nice GMC done up. That's pretty cool looking. That is cool. That's what it's all about. A vet. One of the anniversary edition ones? We got a duster. This is nice. Is it standard as well? Uh, no, automatic. But still, that's a nice. Oh, sorry, nice car. All right, let's head across the street here. We got this. We got a monster truck here, which is pretty neat. <laughs> that's cool as hell. That's really cool, actually. I wonder if I could find a body like that for that one red quad I got. Now that it, now that Amy or Haley outgrew it, I could probably find a body like that and put it on there. That's pretty neat. That is so neat. 
<laughs> Got a five liter Mustang. You like this probably. No? <laughs> An old VW. These are nice. A 68 uh, boogie van. That is sick. Oh, sorry, sweetie. You scared the shit out of me. <laughs> I don't know who I bumped into. The sparkle in that green. Oh, that's so nice. But yeah, Monaco. Then we got ourselves another dart or duster. Oh, it's a dart. AR 440 car. Nice. That's nice. And then right beside that, we got a 69 Charger. Whew. We get into the trucks. This thing is sweet. I love this truck. I think we saw it last year too. It was parked on the grass. Okay, this guy here. I'm glad to see more and more of these coming to the shows. 454 SS. That is sick. Oh, that's all mint too. Wow. Looks like it said 69,000 miles on it original. So that's pretty nuts. If that's true. Yeah. Oh. Those are absolutely gorgeous trucks. <laughs> all right. Now we get into the hot rods. I think this is this is Jim's. You're talking to him when the train went by. So he's got the big JK trucking on the side. Got them nice big dished wheels on the back. So yeah, absolutely gorgeous truck. We checked this out at Fort Capel. If you guys remember. So I don't know what the hell that handle does. I'm afraid to find out because it's Jim and all. So, but here's a little bit of info. It's a 47 Dodge. If you guys want to pause that and you know read it, I'll do that when I'm editing. But that's a nice truck. Another nice Dodge. Oh, this is sick. The 318 sparkle in the paint. I don't know how well it's coming out on camera, but wow. Wow, that's nice. So, and we got another with the 64 Beaumont convertible. Beautiful. This is nice. The interior, the paint. Wow. Wow. Yeah, 57 Dodge. Right. Then we got a GMC truck sitting here. All right. Well, that's it so far for the car show. We're going to uh, now head over, grab a burger and a hot dog, and then check out the museum. See you guys there. All right, folks. Let's uh, go check out the museum here. Grab a bite to eat and uh, see what it's like. All right, folks. Here's the menu. We're gonna stop and eat here after. But first, we're gonna check out. We got the museum there. Uh, a little building there in the school here, so we'll start off and we'll check out the school. We'll see what we got going on there. So, really nice day for a show. Nice day for. Uh, I don't think we checked this out last time. Last time we just checked out the museum part. There's a little bit of history on it. Okay. Yeah, we didn't check this out last time we were here. That is cool. Awesome. Yeah, we were here. We just went to the other side. It smells like an old school in here. <laughs> okay, staff only. All right. So, cool, cool. Not really much to see. Old desk. See, this is what I was talking about at, um, in Cupar, where they had the schoolroom set up and how they had the furnace in the corner. That's kind of a depiction to kind of tell you, show you what it's like. The Selby one, though, if you noticed, it was over by the door. So, I guess here's the door as well. But, some desks, cool. 
All right, let's go. Uh, huh, is that what Regina wants to look like back in the day? Uh, 1972 city picture. Little book encyclopedia. I'm trying to read. I don't think that would be Regina. <laughs> so, hmm, crazy. All right, let's go check out the uh, other building. All right, guys. Oh, here we go. I wasn't sure what it was, but here's the Balmoral House, I guess. I may have just butchered that that name, but let's uh, go inside and take a peek. So, it's had a really, really interesting experience out here. <laughs> but oh, a nice little with the trap door for that's probably really you know cold storage. Oh, yeah. Old it tells you all the stuff. You can just pause anytime. You can't pass a mirror without waving. That's the rule. <laughs> right. Yeah, anytime you guys can just pause and zoom in. So there's a little bit of History. I'm going slow so you guys can read. Pause and read. So it's about to load it. Cool. Uh, too much to go through. But no. Oh, well, I guess it's right here. It tells you everything about it. How they found it and then they redid it. Okay. Pretty neat. This is actually really cool. Must be the family. Nobody smiled back in the day. See that? Nobody smiled. Because it took so damn. Oh, wait, one guy is. <laughs> See, look how crazy he looks smiling compared to everybody else. That's why they didn't smile. Because <laughs> everyone looked crazy. It's true. Butter churns. Ice cream maker. That's pretty cool. We actually, that's the kind we grew up on. My grandpa and grandma had one just like that. And I spent many years. That's probably when my shoulders buggered. Spent many years cranking on it. <laughs> Giggity. <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice wood stove. Cupboard. Kitchen. Yes, this is perfect for how a house used to be back in the day. Should I still live in something like this? Honestly. You don't really need anything else. Alright, let's uh, head over now and check out the museum again. Alright, had to open the door and I couldn't figure it out, but here we are. Check out the other side. Let's check out the museum. Uh, well, actually we'll go this way first, because last time we went the other way. A little long way this time. I was checking on online as well, they have a new display. So, I'll have to check that out. Okay. Lots and lots of stuff. That scan means. You can pause that, you get all the info you want another one. I'll try to get all those as I can for you guys. So, go in here again. All the old tools. Little old workshops. This is cool. I know we were here last year, but I just like coming to museums. I really do. Because you never know what they're going to add from one year to the next. Like old washing machines, more old wash tubs and presses for, you know, laundry. Big old safe. Look at that thing. Rural Municipality of Strasbourg. <laughs> so that must be the original safe for the train station, which is pretty cool. Looks like another wash tub. So, reptiles and amphibians from the area. What is this? This looks absolutely amazing. Comment down below, what is this? Huh. Yeah, rope makers and stuff, more presses. Tons and tons of license plates. Like 1919, 1912, possibly. Just, wow, 1913, right here. These are porcelain plate, porcelain enamel on metal, which is cool as hell. Over here, we've got cream separators, more tools, antlers. 
This is like the bottlers, which is pretty cool. It is, it's a bottling machine. Huh. Lots and lots and lots of stuff. And it's busy here today, folks, which is really good. I'm glad to see, you know, museums really busy. I'm glad to see car shows in small towns really busy and kicking off. It's good for the economy, good for, it's good for everybody, really. It's good for these small towns, otherwise they'll disappear. And we don't want that to happen, so. I guess we'll have to find out if, like, Boulier has a museum or if, you know, Earl Grey has a museum. I have no idea. Because there's just so much small communities now that, you know, you sneeze and you miss them when you're driving by, so. Look at all the harnesses and horseshoes. Wow, that must have been from the furrier. Yes, I know big words, folks. You can scan that. And check out this really crazy bike with a steering wheel. That's cool, and an awesome view of the tracks. Wow. All right, what do we got here? It's like a chest, some kind of, some kind of turn maybe for liquor? Or, or butter or something maybe? Or milk? Got a propeller from a windmill. Old mowers, sickles, There's tons of awesome shit. Old ice saws, maybe? I don't know what that is. Tons of old burners, old train cards. For, it's for the ox and shit. Look how big that is. <laughs> it's heavy. It is what she said. That's awesome. All right, now oh, we can continue on this way. Some more World War II stuff. So this could be all part of, there's a big, there's, I think this is part of the new exhibit, I think. Or is it upstairs? I'll have to double check when I edit. What's that? What are you pointing at? Yeah? Isn't that the display? Or? Could be. We'll find out if it's the new stuff. But the Gatlin gun. <laughs> that is cool. That's a machine gun, I mean. Is that neat? Look at, the, look at the size of the bullets. And then there's a torpedo down there. That's pretty cool, hey? They're decommissioned. There's, they can't explode or go off at any time. I gotta say that. But in here too, look at the bullets. I mean, they would have shot something like that. That's what this thing would have shot out of here. One of those big guys. Oh wow. I don't know if this stuff was here last year. I'm gonna have to, to check in my editing, but I don't recall it being like this. And then on the other side, we've got more craziness, but we'll. Yeah, here's the new, here's the new stuff. So, right, let me back up a bit. I want to check out over here, sweetie. The number seven one. Yeah, number seven at home. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna show this case here. This is a lot of stuff is new. A lot of the stuff is new. Safety razors. A nice level. We get into the tobacco side of stuff. Nice to have all this kind of stuff too. From like when I smoked. Grandma gave me a lot of grandpa's old stuff because well he didn't need it no more. So that is awesome. I apologize for the glare, but then you can really do. So here's you guys can scan those. Just pause the video and scan it at any time. We'll give you all the history you need on these helmets, which are really neat. In here, we've got insulators from telephone poles. We've got some old advertisements and stuff. Lanterns, candlesticks, wrenches, old ratchet set, socket wrench set. <coughs> That's cool. We've got more books. Vietnam style helmet. And, or uh, 
That could also be from World War II when they were doing the Pacific Theater. Which, you know, yeah, yeah, I know more than I should. Uh, I, I'm, I'm a nerd. What can I say? But, you know, when they were over in Japan and shit like that, so pretty neat. Or, or, I guess not Japan, but the islands in between. So, what did I say? Iron Pyrite? Looks like fool's, like fool's gold. That's pretty neat. 1973. Oh, okay, this is stuff from. Yeah, from the moon landing autograph pictures. Buzz Aldrin and Neil Armstrong and the, the, the last guy that nobody knows about. <laughs> Maybe we got some old tag writers there. And then back after here, when they were leaving this display, got some bayonets and stuff, which is pretty sweet. Um, yeah. Yeah, well, you know, it is what it is. It, it's, it's history. You can't have those symbols. Those were actually probably picked off of German soldiers and brought back as trophy items by the Canadian soldiers. This is to show people. So I didn't expect actually to see those here. I <laughs> uh, hope I don't get in trouble for that, but it's history. Yeah, those who don't rem uh, don't if you don't record it and don't remember it, you're gonna repeat it, and we don't need that repeated. Although we are a huge, huge German community. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Huh. Lots of military. Lots of military stuff. I think this was like one of the, like, before it was not so much, but... This is only like one bit of one room, mm -hmm. which is crazy. So this is a bit of a long video for you folks, so I apologize. Just scan stuff like this and just don't worry about it. <laughs> It'll give you a history lesson, which is pretty cool. These are stamps. You see that? For advertisements from back in the day. For dealerships and stuff. Those are the those are the blanks, the negatives. That is so cool. Now there's something that's been beeping, bopping around behind me. We have to check that out here right away. Old typewriters. We got some big old bones. <laughs> that's what she said. <laughs> I can't stop it now, sorry. But we got some awesome, awesome native beadwork. My girlfriend does beadwork, so she's really checking this stuff out. It's pretty cool. The camera doesn't do it justice doing it because of the display, but. Right. I'll tell you all about the rabbits. And then it's just. More beadwork. What do you think of all the beadwork, sweetie? It's pretty damn good, eh? For how old? I guess stuff is old. And original. And folks can scan it there. And get a better history lesson. Here's the taxidermy. I hear, uh, what is it? I heard the Assiniboia Museum has just some amazing taxidermy displays. Like the two-headed calf, which is pretty cool. <laughs> so I do want to head to Moose Jaw, to the Western Development Museum, before school starts. There you go. There's a little bit of who who made this. So lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of crazy stuff here. And these are all animals and stuff too that are like. From the area. The big eagle. Cool. Alright, now this here, I've been hearing click clack and a clack in the background. 
And these are all stones and expensive, like rocks and gems that have been found in the area. Or the province. The iron pyrite, there's a the fool's gold. I wonder if there's actual gold gold. So, dinosaur bones. So, that's pretty cool. A geode from Iowa. Okay, so it's not just stuff for local, it's stuff from all over. That's pretty neat. So, then we got some more display stuff, more taxidermy stuff. Dragonflies. That is awesome. Sports stuff. Oh, this side is so much more open than the other side. I have more room to walk around. <laughs> Horseshoes. Horse race card stuff. Old roller skates. Golf clubs. This is a beauty shop. See? I gotta wave every time I go by. Hi, Mike. How are you doing today? My girlfriend dressed me. Got the nice old sinks. All the old stuff. And that clarinet. That is nice. Big drums. Old radios, stove, TVs. Back over here we got more, more fossils and stuff. Like this place is, would be really, really good to take like classes and stuff, like take kids, like classrooms with kids, and to like teach them history and stuff like that. You really would, honestly. That'd be the kind of stuff that I'd be so interested in doing. All the lanterns and stuff all from the CPR days. Wow, 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 wow. More radios and light bulbs and electric curling iron. <laughs> that is so neat. Got irons like crazy. I wonder how many of these found inside of a of a drunk husband one night on the side of his head or something. <laughs> wow. Oiler. <clears throat> huh. All right. We got like a harp or something. Auto harp. Cool. All right. And then back to the music stuff with the pianos. All the instruments. What's up, Em? Clarinets. This stuff pretty cool. RCMP. It's pretty cool that they got his stuff here, his uniform. His military uniform. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Skinning knife. Oh, this must be from the butcher shop. Fog scrapers, sticking and boning, yeah. The gamer axe, sharpening, yeah, this is all from, this all must be from butcher shop. You guys can pause that and take a look. It's the meat scale, vacuum, stove. And if you hear a kid crying in the background, it's just Emmy. She's being a brat and well, we don't put up with that. So, all the old bottles. Wow, I've got like all these. I don't see the Pepsi bottle that I have from the 50s, so. <laughs> salt and pepper shakers look cool. Yeah. That's awesome. All right. Let's uh, head down to the next uh, room and see what they got going on over here. All right, back in the main room. We'll go around this way. More fossils. Fossils and rocks. Catch register. Just scan that to get all your info. Switchboard. 
That's pretty neat. Old elevators. Yep. No longer around most of them. Old phones. Old cars, the fairgrounds. That is crazy. It's crazy that they used to do play like auto polo back in the day. Strasburg in the 50s look pretty big. And if you guys don't know what auto polo is, you guys should Google it. It's pretty crazy. <laughs> but they didn't used to do that kind of stuff around here. Lots. I'm still trying to uncover more and more and more of the history on it in the, in the area, but I've seen lots and lots of evidence of it. Lots of old pictures of people playing auto polo fairgrounds and stuff. So I think that was in again mostly that we saw that kind of stuff. All the old money. Swedish money, British money, Danish, Norwegian, Brazilian, Finnish, oh, just everything. So yeah, if you guys are ever in an area, it's worth a check out to stop by, really. As, well, as long as they're open, but... There's a lot of historical stuff. And cameras. I can't wait to I can't wait to have a fucking burger. Jeez. I didn't really I forgot how big this place was. Theater seat from the hall. Queen Elizabeth stuff. King Edward. Edward the Eighth. That's awesome. I don't know if you guys will be able to read that, but a bunch of old, just... yeah, because the British Empire, you know, they were part of that. So, a lot more just ornate just stuff, <laughs> stuff that I'm not, you know, not too familiar with because cups and saucers and stuff wasn't really my thing. You know, because well, I'm, I'm more of, if I'm going to eat, I like to eat and drink out of my stuff. I don't like to just piss around. <laughs> I don't like to collect, you know, the whatever they call this stuff. Chinaware, I guess. Fine china. For it just to sit in a cupboard and look fancy. You know, I'm going to eat off that shit. Oh, the kinds of money, hey. That's cool. I don't remember this last year. I don't remember this last year. There's another scan me. Old wooden boxes. I wonder what this stuff is all about the queens and stuff. So I'm wondering if this stuff wasn't from her stay around this area or something. And this was all from the, maybe the room she stayed in. Like a glove box. Like, you know. I could not tell you, but somebody in the comments will. There's all the stuff up here too. Movie projectors and stuff, just flash bulbs and these old fairgrounds from the early 1900s. So all the cars, all the cars, all the cars. Session crew, schools and picnic. So I wonder if that school isn't the one we were just in, and that one door was that front door. More cars, hockey from the, from the way back in the day too, from the 60s, logging and mining, farming, wow, so like right here the hill where um, the van and the Ford, lifted Fords with the, uh, they're up here on this hill up here, the hotel's at the corner and we're like over here right now, <laughs> pretty crazy with how Main Street's kind of changed, like yeah, there'd be the hill, there's the hotel, there'd be the hill, and that's pretty much where we're at, like right here, <laughs> literally right there, pretty cool, see that stuff I know, because, oh, 
Been coming to Strasbourg my entire life. My grandma's family is from here. <laughs> well, from Germany to here. So. Old dolls. More fancy fancies. <laughs> this is for any ladies that watch the channel. This is all your kind of quilty build stuff. <laughs> yeah, there's at least one that watches the channel. Two for sure, but at least one. Oh, we got some Native American doll. That's pretty cool. So. Kind of. <gasps> it's the puppets. It's the marionettes. Seems they fucking creep me out. I'm sorry, folks. Oh, they creep me out. We got some silver, you know, silver mirrors and stuff like that. You can tell it's silver because of how it's how, how it turns black like that. Yeah, it's all fine silver. It's pretty cool. Belt worn in the forties. <laughs> On who? On what? A cat? I couldn't fit that belt around one of my legs. That chick must have been skinny. Holy crap! It wasn't her. Oh wait, sorry, that's a queen. <laughs> well, she's not, a, she's not a skinny chick. That's all I'm gonna say. Pink beauty glass, earrings, jewelry. This is cool. This is nice. This is nice. Big ass say, uh, baby pins. Or, oh, that's a kilt pin. That's gold. Gold men's and silver ladies. That's cool. There you guys go. Pause it and scan them. I'll probably tell you all you need to know about the box. So, cool, cool. This is the Titanic replica. Or, no, oh, Queen Mary. A lot of people came over on that. More, let's see, more handmade toys. There seems to be a, a trend in the area, even though it's a lot of handmade toys. Whether it, oh, that's cool. That's how they used to take kids to school in the wintertime. That was like the original kind of school buses and how families used to travel in the wintertime. Those are cool. What? The breast pump? <laughs> which, which one's the breast pump? Oh, that? Oh my god, that was. What the heck? How archaic. This guy probably look at he just he's got a creepy look on his face like oh yeah I've used that. No offense to anybody watching, but I like to have fun while I make videos as well. So, all right, I'll check out the next room here. Let me let me get you guys a good read on this. I'll give you a bit of. Uh, History is why it's here. And pause at any time. All right, let's go check out the uh, the next room here. Let's have to sign the guest book on our way out, like we every always do. Let's another scan me. Okay. This wasn't open last time. I don't believe. It's like a living room. Hmm. This was cool. It reminds me of my grandparents' living room as a kid. Huh. There's no TV. Emmy's asking, where's the TV? Right here, Emmy. This is a TV. That's the TV. That's the TV. They didn't have TV. They had radios. And family, the dad would play and the kids would sing or whatever. And that was their entertainment. Can't pass the mirror without waving. That's cool. There's another his record player? Or no phonograph. Edison phonograph. That that did this the round um, cylinder ones, I believe. It's like these right here. Or no, those are cups. Or are they? No, those are those are for the sonograph. And you're probably wondering how I know that kind of stuff. And stereograph right there. That's that's a TV Emmy. 
a stereograph, that was a TV. You put you put those, those little lens things on your face and you put a bunch of flashcards in front of it. And that's how you saw pictures from all around the world. And people are wondering, how do you know that stuff? I grew up with it. <laughs> I didn't just watch the History Channel, I grew up with this kind of stuff. So, yeah, and here's the, the heater in the, in the family room. So, black hat, look at that. Little pack of black hats. So, alright, it's starting to get busy in here, so let's, let's head into the kitchen part. And then we'll have to check up the out, check up or check out the upstairs, which people just went up to. So here's the old kitchen. We checked this out last year as well. But this is a this is a, a this would be considered a big kitchen back in the day. This would have been a big kitchen. Awesome. Look at that grater. It's seen, it's seen some days. And the coffee grinder. Mine's electric. <laughs> okay, there's got to be something to do with that. That's awesome. Alright. Let's uh, head upstairs. As soon as uh, we hear some people come down. Because it's, so I don't want it to be overly crowded up there. Alright folks, I thought I'd come outside for a minute while we wait for people upstairs because it's so... Well, it gets hot, but um... Oh, we've got another one of those scan me's, I was just checking out the horizon here. Like the, but right here. So you can scan that and get a better info on the museum. So, we'll be heading back in here right away. Alright, all cooled off, came back inside. We got a nice stack of burgers out there. <laughs> Let's uh, take a look here. I do have to use a railing because of my knees are crippled. As some of you may know, I'm also missing half of my ankle, or missing a ankle and half a foot, so that's always awesome. Alright, let's start out over here. In the kids' room. This would be like the little Emmy kids' room. And you don't play with the toys, these aren't for toys to play with. These are to show you the kind of toys that little kids used to have. Okay. You have your little daisy repeater on the on the wall. We have little doll stuff. All little books. With tin cars. All this cool elaborateness. There's another train you can hear it out there. Or somebody's vehicle. Well, that's a cam. Never mind. <laughs> Another little pop gun. Little little dollhouse. That's pretty cool. See how things used to look, Emmy? Are you glad you have different toys? Your toys. These toys look old and weird, don't they? <laughs> but they're not. These are the kind of toys that Grandma had. These are the kind of toys that my sister had. There's a scan me for everybody. Okay, let's check out the next room with a pretty lady in a sundress. This would be the... Is it, maybe? Is there, is there a room? I don't know what the other room beside it is, but I'm thinking it would be, yeah. Here's the fan and the gloves. Pretty cool. <laughs> Here you guys go. Scan the chamber pot. <laughs> Scan the porta potty. So, more awesome artwork with fabric and lace. Goes to show you the kind of time frame stuff. All the old bedding with the quilts. Made by the Bollier Church in, in 1925. Holy shit. That thing is 99 years old, that quilt. Wow. Here's one, 1907, wedding, 1907. <coughs> wow, oh, and it's getting loud, folks. Here's the names of all the quilters. You wanna pause it? 
Take a look. Yeah, there you go. Wow. Absolutely crazy. All right, now we'll go to the next room. Excuse me, Emmy. We'll sign the guest book, yep. Yeah. Uh, we'll check out this one first, the bath room. So all the dresses and suits are lined up, ready to go. The wash tub. Look at this toilet, Emmy. That's a toilet. And the, that vent was so that the smell would leave out. But yeah, that's an old toilet. Yeah, old bathroom. All right, we got one more room here to check out. This would be the sewing room. All right. Lots of awesome sewing machines. Like, this is what mine would look like if it was absolutely restored. 100%. This is exactly like how mine is. Wow. Well, I'm going to have to find somebody to do it. Because it's just, that looks too nice. That's awesome. It's more quilting stuff, and sewing machines, and this for making uh, rope, possibly cotton. All right, cool, cool. All right. Well, we will see you guys outside to end the video. It's getting really crowded. Last little bits of stuff here while we're signing the guest book. Some more scannies. It got really, really, really cluttered upstairs real quick. So, yeah. All right. Awesome. Let's head outside. End of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Some cool old, uh, old antique equipment out front of the museum. Well, I enjoy my burger and uh, avoid getting attacked by wasps. It's been a pretty good day. We're gonna be uh, calling it a quit here right away. But yeah, that seems to be pretty good so far. Oh, my hand's in the way, sorry folks. There we go, I, my tripod we got. There we go, thank you guys so much for tuning in. We're gonna head back to town now, so I can edit this and get it up for you guys for, uh, well tonight on Patreon and then you know Sunday morning for uh, you YouTube guys, so. And don't forget that we upload our videos every uh, the night before you see them on Patreon or on YouTube. They're going on Patreon. So, but until then, take care of yourselves. From all of us here at Toggles and Turbos, I've been Mike. It's been a glorious, awesome day. Huge, huge shout out to the uh, Strasbourg District Museum for putting on an awesome car show, and huge shout out to all the people who came. Uh, it, it made an awesome day, awesome turnout. Burgers are fantastic. Until next time, take care of yourselves. Love you. We'll see you probably next show. Will be in Dysart. So. But we got other stuff until then. Love you guys. God bless.